Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. We're back with Subnautica Below Zero and our first playthrough of the game on survival difficulty. The last time we finally made it to Outpost Zero. Not exactly how you were supposed to get there, but, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> it worked. And um, we found a fair few bits and pieces. It was, you know, interesting. But I think that we, yeah, we did get there slightly prematurely. We, we found some uh, architect uh, stuff in there. Um, but from one of the audio logs that we got a hold of, I, th I think it was an audio log at least, uh, one of the people who were there mentioned a vessel presumably uh, needing to be brought there and uh, we kind of know what that vessel is it's going to be alan's body so uh, yeah we were there a little bit too early we could have gone there slightly later let's just say uh, but that's fine it's fine we, we found a bit some bits and pieces however it has left me in a situation where i don't really know what to do like, or rather, let me clarify, I know what to do. We need to find the fabricator facility. Just that I have no idea where the fabricator facility is whatsoever. Alan has not given me any information about that. I have indeed looked through my information that I've found, and no, there is there is no information at all, as far as I can tell. So, right now I'm a little bit stumped exactly of what to do. So, what I've done um, since the last episode is play around a little bit. I've been exploring uh, in some various places, just trying to find something. And I have found some stuff. Uh, one of the things is the artifact PK-8. If you remember that one, that is uh, the little hole that we found that was full of diamonds back a few episodes ago and um, when we got close to that alan told us that yeah he could use the information here to uh, locate a body part but we never scanned this <laughs> so i still actually have this to scan so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna do that today i haven't done that uh, i also was looking for another one of the artifacts uh, before i remember that i had scanned that and uh, i did find some stuff though i found another artifact in this little place here that i haven't scanned but it does look like one of the artifacts i believe uh which one Ooh, there aren't images of all of these was the sort of spindly ones yeah this one the obelisk it is one of these, but I haven't scanned it, so we're gonna go scan that one. And also, while I was there, I found a PDA just lying around. I didn't pick it up, though. I thought that we would do that together. Uh, so that's interesting. Th those are fairly close by to each other. Now, while I was there also, I found a, a fair few sea truck module fragments. Enough so that we can actually create the sea truck storage module and the sea truck fabricator module now the fabricator module seems like another one that's not super interesting like i can't say that i desperately needed fa a fabricator while having the sea truck maybe at some point but uh not particularly much uh, the storage module however i will create not right now but between episodes uh, like for example uh, between between these episodes, I also went uh, collecting some uh, copper and quartz. Having extra storage uh, would be a useful thing. The bronze suit has some storage, but it's not super much. So may I, I would most likely do that one, most likely. So that is. Uh, Basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna go over here. And then there is one more thing. And uh, I'm gonna hold off explaining exactly what that thing is, because it's a bit interesting. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna lead to anything, but presumably something's gonna happen, so we're gonna see about that as well. And that is over at Fire Robotics, that, that area, the first area, not the Ice Worm area. And uh, while I was there, just looking around, I found, again, I guess, because I think I've been there already, the uh, the Snow Stalker uh, cave that's there. And uh, you know what I found in that that little cave? All the Snow Stalker fur in the world. See, we don't have to kill them. We actually just have to pick it up from the ground. <laughs> so 
That's what you get that from. So if I ever wanted to do that suit, I can do that now. I don't really need it though because I have the snow fox. So yeah. <laughs> Still though, um, that th that that is it. So we are gonna be bringing the snow fox. I don't think that I need the uh, sea glide. No, we don't need the sea glide. So let's uh, let's start. Let's start today with going to artifact PK eight as a beginning. And let's actually just drink that. Let's also eat one of these. There we go. Uh, let's start by going there, and then after that, we will go over to this place and uh, then onwards. So, back to the sea track. Well, not back to the sea track, to the sea track and to this artifact. Uh, we're coming up to it right now. Hopefully, not getting hit by you. I don't like you, Shellicarit. I don't like you at all. So, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Yeah, he's coming for me. God damn it. It's really, really difficult to avoid these, or isn't it? Very difficult. Lucky me that they, they actually don't do that much damage. Hey, get off. <laughs> get, m move. Here we go. So this artifact way down here, because yeah, when we were here um, the first time around, uh, we weren't able to go that far down, so uh, that is exactly why I haven't scanned this. Uh, but I, uh, I did watch a small video about locating the uh, the artifact that I or the the thing that I had actually seen already. I actually looked at a video to see how you got to that, which is where I figured out that yeah, okay, I've already been there. Uh, that video said that scanning these apparently is what sort of unlocks the various bits and pieces that we can do. Like so, for example. Uh, the thing, right, for example, the, 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 the tether tool, that is one of the things that sort of unlocks as you scan these, it's not any one specific, it's just, uh, you know, scan, scan it, basically. Well, we've got another ion cube, that's cool. Alien artifacts, was this one? I mean, it must be the same, yeah, okay, so, exactly, we, we've already scanned this at some point. Is there a point... Going down there, I don't actually think it is. I mean, obviously I can. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think that that is a good idea. I don't think that there's any point in me going in there. <laughs> so yeah, we've scanned it, but uh, didn't really get me much. <laughs> that is that that is a bit sad. But yeah, still a good place to get uh, diamonds, etc., etc. So we've we've checked that one. I'm gonna mark it green again and remove it. And that means that it's off to this little place. See what all of these things are. Uh, at least the PDA is gonna be a bit interesting. Because just a it's just a PDA out in the open. It's kind of weird. So let's uh, head over there and we shall see about about what all of that is about. And we're coming into this uh, biome, the bioluminescent uh, whatever these things are, and uh, yeah, this is where we're going to find a... There's more PDAs here! I had not seen that PDA. Okay, well, hello, no another PDA. What are you? Okay, just me, from Piotr. On my application I mentioned there is severe galeophobia. Fear of sharks. Imagine my surprise when I discovered the brood sharks here. Yes. In a way, the research, research outpost is half finished. I scraped my leg in a broken piece of coral. So that is uh, super unimportant. But now I'm curious. Am I going to find even more PDAs? Uh, this is presum presumably, I say, isn't that what I need? No, that is just something else. <laughs> uh, I have been here. Yes, I think that there was a PDA in there, potentially. I don't know. But okay, so there are actually more PDAs around there. Well, that's fascinating. Let's go back a little bit, just to see if uh, we can spot anything. Because yeah, they do show up fairly easily. Uh, nothing... Nothing right out of the box, at least. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing over there, as far as I can tell. And yeah, there, there is this one, so presumably that is where they've been coming from, the PDAs. Uh, 
and there's a lot of blue already, <laughs> so uh, finding something that's also blue isn't exactly easy. Like here, th this is very lit up, this little place right here. Uh, but as far as I can tell, that's not because of PDA, it's because of this. So, uh, yeah. Blueness in this place isn't really a any help. <laughs> with regards to finding things that are blue. Right, let's uh, keep going down, because yeah, this is where I found this PDA. It's uh, very noticeable. So let's see what this is. This is Sea Truck She's Log. Up cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not gonna get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel, not going to be happy. Not one bit. Well, okay, again, uh, that was basically just a hint that, uh, yeah, you might find the sea truck stuff that I have been finding. Sea uh, truck storage module is indeed the thing that I found. Okay, so again, highly uninteresting in in the grand scheme of things. Now, where, where did I have? Uh, here we go. Uh, there we go. So I basically managed to put it, because it was a bit tricky to find that artifact, even when you know the position of the entry point. So I just decided to mark one of the ways in. That is actually not the only way in, uh, but it is a way in. So let's just go in here. Let's just go in here, deep down here, and we find ourselves an obelisk in here, as well as an ion cube. So, go in here, scan this. And, do I get anything? Nope. Get nothing. Okay. So, none of that was actually that interesting. <laughs> oh, bother. Uh, let's call this Beacon 2, just because I didn't, didn't name the other one any number. Did I miss anything? Any more ion cubes? Nope. Uh, no iron cubes as far as I can tell. By the way, let's just go out and repair a bit. Okay, well, that sort of leaves me with just the uh, next thing that I was talking about. The thing that I've been... Uh, rather, the thing, that, the thing that I wanted to keep, uh, if not secret from you guys. Just, uh, just uh, to keep you on edge, let's just say. Um, because I, th I hope that it's an interesting thing. Uh, I, I, I will be annoyed if it's not an interesting thing. And it might be something that Alan might be a bit interested in as well, potentially. Uh, let's call this Beacon 3, because yeah, the names stick, by the way, for uh, beacons. So whatever name it had when you picked it up, it's going to keep having that name. And I think that it actually even shows in here. Uh, it does not. Okay, never mind. Right, um, that means it's time for me to get out of here and back to fire robotics. Uh, okay, apparently I can't get out here. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, over to fire robotics and um, we will pick up from uh, there when I've gotten to the place where I, uh, I need to be. So, uh, jump cut coming. And jump cut over. So, we are at the Caves of Five Robotics. Now, if you remember last time, I said that if I ever play this game again, I will most likely map this place out a little bit more. And that is sort of what I have been doing. <laughs> so, I have uh, put a beacon here for the entrance to the caves. And uh, it is in here that we are going to be doing something that I could have done way, way, way earlier, but I actually d didn't even know that it was a thing. Uh, until I went back now, just to have a bit of a look, and a mouse over sort of caught my eye. Ooh, have I dropped this before? Let's just pick that up. There's no reason for that to be there. Uh, probably I did, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to go into the caves here because there is one thing that I haven't done. I've done I've, I've sort of searched this place just to see have I missed anything specifically. I'll put that up that titanium as well. Uh, I scanned the pingling here by the way because that was just a fragment that I felt that you know whatever I'll I'll scan it. Uh, 
So, we are gonna go up to this thing, and there's a reason why I have brought the antidote bottle that we picked up some time ago. Because that is something... I, I, I never understood what the hell am I supposed to do with that. Oh, here, here we go. I didn't see those. Cool. Um, I didn't know what to do with them. And as far as I know, I haven't really seen any explanation of what to do with them. But we have a little leviathan person here who... Oh, hello. Oh, I can scan the teeth. <laughs> Missed that I can uh, scan the teeth. Okay. Frozen leviathan teeth. Uh, where do we go here? Okay. The teeth. Sharp teeth for tearing through flesh and bones. Okay. Was, was that new somehow? Okay, I, I don't know. Uh, found this thing burning a glacier. Tell us about it was walking, uh, walking around there a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice. It was affected with the Cara bacterium, etc. etc. Since the enzyme cure was released, the bacterium has been all but eliminated. Rare specimens like these provide our only live source. Research on the bacterium has been uh, transferred to the secure Omega Laboratory, while further research on the creature will be conducted at the excavation site. Okay, so apparently I hadn't really scanned everything here. Presumably. Uh, but yeah, with the bacterium, this little thing here, this little cool thingamajig, there's a slot here where you can place the antidote. And I missed that. Missed that completely. So we're going to do that now and see what happens. Am I going to wake this thing up? Or am I going to get a Kara sample somehow? Or like an. I, I have no idea. Let's jam it in. Let's jam the antidote in and see what the hell is going Oh, I am a little bit scared, but maybe I don't have to be scared. Guess what now, then? Well. Okay. Well, that seemed... Like I sh This seemed like something should be happening here. <laughs> Hello? Do I do anything here? Give me some kara. Okay, well that was mildly unsatisfactory. What do I do? I am not seeing any prompts now. No prompts whatsoever. It is almost as if I want to actually go and check this immediately because surely something should have happened, right? Let's just drink a little bit. We can eat soon. Surely something should have happened. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know now. Here we go. Begin injection. There. I know now. That's what that little terminal was for. Okay, so it's gonna go and poke the Kara. Inject that. Did, did it inject it only in this? Oh, here we go. Bacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. So presumably that's the end of the story with regards to uh, Sam then. Okay, well, at this point it feels like Alan should give me some more clues as to where the fabricator, uh, the fabricator facility is, right? Sh right. Uh, ow. By the way, we, we, I, forgot, I forgot to say that, we had another exchange with Alan before this one. We can listen to that one as well. But ultimately, I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. 
the network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Oh, oh, right. Hope is the the thing with feathers. This does not match mm -hmm. any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Helen. Adding hope. To your database. Oh, that's kind of cute though, but yeah, ultimately it doesn't lead us to anything. Let's actually pick that up. Didn't I have a snowball? Yes, I did. More water! <laughs> and, um, okay. So yeah, it does seem as if we've uh, completed the Sam storyline, but the Alan storyline is nowhere near complete. So, uh, I don't know what to do now. Oh yeah, I dropped a whole bunch of stuff down here, didn't I? Um, I, I was going here, by the way, just because I was thinking that... Am I supposed to go here with a prawn suit? To, like, excavate more? <laughs> but no, no, no prawn suit needed here. Even though we have a prawn suit just standing here, uh, I would assume that no, this is not something... doesn't really look like anything we would be able to do anything with. So, the question remains, what the hell do I do now? <laughs> I was planning on potentially going back to uh, Outpost Zero. Uh, just making sure that I absolutely checked everything there. Uh, but it feels like I did. So, I mean... W where else? <laughs> really, where else? We've been to Fire Robotics, like, all the way. Uh, all the way up here. And this is where we found, I think it was all the way up here, where we found the last bits and pieces. Uh, uh, rather, the, the second piece of body for Alan. So presumably we don't have to go over here again. Uh, there might be some case for going here and checking the ice worm tunnels. That is something that could be something we can do. Uh, but I think that I would rather do that between episodes instead of now, because it feels like that could take a little while. And, you know, not the good kind of while. So, uh, at this point in time, I simply don't know. And I fear that this might be a very short uh, episode, because uh, <laughs> I don't want to just uh, go around not figure out what to do and show you guys just that uh, I'm more happy to show you when I've actually got something and um, as I said I were there I, th I think I've said at least uh, I don't want to google the solution to this game <laughs> obviously I don't want to google the solution I want to be able to figure it out myself but right now I don't know how to do that I've been looking through all the logs that I have and I've been uh, to most of the places, and I haven't seen any other logs uh, that can give me more more information. I've ha I have absolutely not seen any information about a fabricator facility in any of the logs. That, 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 that is not anything that has been showing up. So, what are we supposed to do, actually? Like, if we look here. So, what do we have? If we... I mean, this, these are logs and communications. Uh, I have, by the way, scanned nameplates, because apparently that's the only way that you get these. <laughs> so some of these I haven't had it even scanned, which is a bit sad. Uh, the gla Glacial Basin. I don't necessarily think that there's anything interesting here. We are up here now. I mean, there's something 
but I, I think that that is a thing that we've already discovered. So that's not interesting. I don't know if this is anything I need to discover. I think that this is where I actually went now that I think about it. Yes, this is actually where I went now. I went here because this is a small passageway uh, through the water. I, I didn't go this way. I went this way instead. Um, so if it sort of feels as if this is not super interesting anymore. Right? Would have loved more maps, by the way. Maybe I have missed maps. Maybe that's the thing that I could be looking for. But we checked Omega, we checked uh, the mining site, all, although not all of the mining site, but it, at this point maybe mining sites aren't the most interesting thing. Although, fabricated facility could be located here. There are places in here that I haven't been to because I haven't found the way into it. Could be that I go and try and scan this place out more. Because, yeah, we've had um, some locked gates, but I don't know if you're supposed to be able to go to the other side of those gates, so don't know. Uh, we've been to Sarah Post, Delta Station, etc., etc. It feels as if I've been everywhere. And uh, what else? Marguerite? She's not helping, as far as I can tell. Uh, memos, etc., etc. None of this has been interesting as far as I can tell. The Mercury, obviously not interesting, because those were very far, far or rather long ago. We know about the robots, the statue, cabling all over the place, architect con constituent parts. Uh, can't say that I see anything here. I mean, there's no directions. And say what you will about some the first Subnautica, but yeah, you had good uh, good information about where to go, like proper proper depths and directions, etc., etc. Haven't really seen much of that here. Uh, so the ancient skeletal structure, storage media, that's me currently. A teleporter, sure. Architect tissue, an array module. Unknown, we have an energy generator, fossil excavator. I mean, sounds interesting, but no, not nothing fabricated. Ground sampler, that's one of the kinds that we scanned today. Iron cues we know about, material analysis. Doesn't feel like that is... No, th that's just collecting stuff. We have the obelisk that we also scanned today, a satellite. And a water analysis uh, station. Nothing else. We don't we don't know anything more. And tech is just things. And we don't know about uh, his body in here, as far as I can tell. So So what? By the way, I scanned a thing that I uh, hadn't scanned before. Uh, not that one, this one. Tornado plates. <laughs> Thought I had scanned that, but I apparently hadn't. And yeah, ooh, sea monkey baby. Poor eyesight, no control of four limbs, low swim speed, 90% fat. Like me! <laughs> no, that's a joke. I am not that fat. Just 80 or something. Um, Kyanite indeed. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry to say, but I have no idea. Where to go from here? Literally no idea where to go from here. So I am actually going to cut this episode off here. It's going to be a very, very short one. <laughs> and uh, before I d record the next episode, I will keep looking uh, by myself. And if I don't find anything, sad to say, I will have to Google the continuation of this game because... Uh, as far as I can tell, either I missed something very, very obvious. I missed, uh, like, some PDA or, as I said, perhaps a map. And um, I, I don't know where to find that. And at this point, it feels like it's a bit too late to uh, try and figure out stuff from there. So, 
yeah, but I'll have I'll, I'll have a few more look looks around <laughs> and see if there's anything more interesting that I can find. And uh, we will see each other in the next episode. And it sort of feels as if 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 I do get to a point where I feel that yeah, with the information that I now gotten, we should be able to finish the game. Then most likely next episode will be the last one because we've done the Sam story obviously and um, once we've uh, assembled Alan so to speak I believe it's off to uh, outpost zero get to the teleporter but I don't know exactly uh, yeah presumably that teleporter is what's gonna teleport him home the sort of thing that we just listened to where uh, I basically t told him to go home and see see what's up <laughs> uh, so presumably that is going to be the end of this game and the storyline so I want to avoid googling. You're saying I want to avoid googling if I can, uh, but if that's the only choice that I have, then it is the only choice that I have, and we will see about that. So we shall see what happens in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghostmet Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.